order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must have the same or like denominators. As soon as we recognize the denominators are not the same, the first step will be to factor the denominators. So looking at our first example here, we're going to factor x squared minus one and x squared minus x. So we'll have x over x squared minus one is a difference of squares. This will factor into the quantity x plus one times the quantity x minus one. Then we'll leave some space horizontally. And then we'll have three x. And then for x squared minus x, remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. These two terms share a factor of x, so we'll have x times the quantity x minus one. Now we know we have to have the same denominator in order to add these two fractions, so now we'll compare the factors of the denominators. Notice how this fraction here contains a factor of x in the denominator, and this one doesn't. So if they're going to contain the same factors, we have to multiply this denominator by a factor of x, and we can do so as long as we do the same to the numerator. Remember, x over x is equal to one. And then notice the second fraction is missing a factor of x plus one, so we'll multiply this fraction by x plus one over x plus one. Now notice the denominators contain the same factors, and therefore we have our common denominator. So now we can add by keeping the denominator the same and adding the numerators. So notice our numerator will consist of a factor of x, a factor of x minus one, and a factor of x plus one. The first numerator is going to be x times x, or x squared, plus the second numerator will be three x times x plus one. Now we'll clear the parentheses in the numerator and combine like terms. So we'll have x squared plus three x squared and plus three x. Notice we have two x squared terms. One x squared plus three x squared is equal to four x squared. So we have four x squared plus three x all over the same denominator. And now we want to check to see if we can simplify this. To do this, we'll factor the numerator. Notice how there's a common factor of x between these two terms. We would have x times the quantity four x plus three all over x times the quantity x minus one times the quantity x plus one. Notice here we have x over x, that simplifies to one. So our final sum will be four x plus three all over the quantity x minus one times the quantity x plus one. Okay, now we'll take a look at our second example on the next slide. Notice here we have a subtraction problem, and since the denominators are different, we'll start by factoring the denominators. So for the first fraction, we'll have x over two binomial factors. The first terms of the factors will be the factors of x squared, which are x and x. The factors of positive 20 that add to positive nine will be positive four and positive five. So we'll have x plus four, x plus five. And then we'll leave some room horizontally. Minus four all over the factors of x squared plus seven x plus 12. So we'll have x and x. The factors of 12 that add to seven are positive four and positive three. And now we want to find a common denominator, which means our denominators must contain the same factors. Notice how they already share a factor of x plus four, but this denominator has a factor of x plus three, so this fraction needs a factor of x plus three. So we'll multiply by x plus three over x plus three. Remember, this is like multiplying by one. And now notice the second fraction is missing a factor of x plus five. So multiply this fraction by x plus five over x plus five. Now that the denominators contain the same factors, we have our common denominator. So we can subtract by keeping the denominator the same and subtracting the numerators. So our denominator stays the same. Remember the order of these factors doesn't matter because multiplication is commutative. The first numerator is x times the quantity x plus three. And we have minus four times the quantity x plus five. And now we'll clear the parentheses in the numerator by distributing here and here, and then combine like terms. And because we have subtraction, 
we can think of distributing a negative four here. So we'll have x squared plus three x, and then we have minus four x minus twenty. Notice how we have two x terms, so now we'll combine like terms. So we'll have x squared, this will be minus one x or minus x minus twenty, all over our common denominator. And now we want to see if we can simplify this, so we'll start by factoring the numerator. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative twenty that add to negative one would be negative five and positive four. Now that everything is in factored form, notice how we have a factor of x plus four over a factor of x plus four. That would simplify to one. So we have the quantity x minus five all over the quantity x plus five times the quantity x plus three. This would be our difference in simplest form. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.